Hi, I'm Katrina Hernandez. And I'm Marcella Ferran. Today is Friday, November 2nd, 2018. Welcome back to Braddock TV. Throughout the month of October, we celebrate Cultural Pride Month. Our Bulldogs participate in United Way events to show our diversity. Here's Andrea to show how our school participates in Cultural Pride Month. Hispanic Heritage Month takes place throughout October, where different Hispanic cultures can come together and celebrate their differences. Here in Braddock, we embrace our students' individual backgrounds from culture to ethnicity, which is why we have our very own Cultural Pride Month. During this month, students can participate in different events to represent their heritage and learn about other countries. Some of our DEMS dancers performed a mix of different Spanish songs in the courtyard during both lunches to commence Cultural Pride Month. On Tuesday, October 16th was Jersey Day, where students donated $1 to wear a jersey of their favor and represent their country of choice. The following week, students went head-to-head -head in a Domino's game during both lunches, where they got to challenge their friends and interact with others. On October 23rd, students donated $1 and represented their country's flag with pride on Flag Day. Students also had the opportunity to try a variety of new foods from different countries during lunch on Wednesday, October 24th. To close off the month with only a donation of $3, students can participate in a dance for United Way during 7th period in the gym October 25th. All donations collected each day go to United Way, who reach great new heights to help communities all around the world. Cultural Pride Month is a great way to allow students to celebrate their diversity and participate in different fun-filled school events, all done for a good cause. This has been Andrea Gamboa reporting for BTV. Our school is always buzzing with events. Here's Melanie with the recap. On October 11th and 12th, Medical Honor Society hosted our first blood drive of the school year. They provided free food and drinks to all of those who donated. The next blood drive will be in February of 2019. Cross Country won the GMAC competition on Friday, October 19th. Girls Cross Country placed first overall with Rebecca Bergness placing ninth and Paola Bescombe placing 11th. Our 2018-2019 homecoming was hosted at the Hilton Miami Airport on Friday, October 5th. Students had a blast to the past with the 80s themed dance while they sang and boogied to many throwbacks as well as some of the more modern hits. Our homecoming king and queen were Marcela Ferran and Javier Fernandez. On Thursday, October 4th was our homecoming game against Coral Park. Family and friends gathered to see our team play that evening. We beat the Rams 48 to 20, earning yet another victory for Braddock. I go in the mouth, she comes to me nothing. 300 to watch out of your budget. Me and Muggin got me clutching. Yeah, and this stick right out of Russia. I swear. A lot has been going on in the world lately. Here's Kamari with World News. On October 11th, 2018, Hurricane Michael made landfall in the Florida Panhandle as a Category 4 hurricane with speeds over 155 miles per hour. The death total as it stands is at 32 people with 15 of them from Florida's Bay County alone. Hurricane Michael was the worst hurricane to ever hit the Florida Panhandle ever since weather records started being recorded in 1850. Authorities state that over 2,500 buildings or structures were damaged and 162 of those structures are destroyed. FPL stated that over 140,000 people are without electricity in Florida and around 158,000 people in all areas that were affected. If you wish to donate and help the victims of this major disaster, please visit www.redcross.org or www.tombrubiconusa.org and many more. On September 27, 2018, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford testified to the Senate Judiciary Committee on Capitol Hill against Supreme Court Judge nominee Brett Kavanaugh. She testified that the judge Brett Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her when the pair were only in high school. The incident occurred in a house party in Maryland in the early 1980s when Kavanaugh was 17 while Ford was only 15. She stated that the judge Kavanaugh, who had been drinking that night, pushed her into a bedroom and assaulted her. We will now certainly see the type of backlash that will be shown from this vote. Did you ever drink too many beers? You mean was I cool? Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget Election Day is November 6th. If you're 18 or older, please make the efforts to go out and vote. The annual faculty basketball game will take place here at the Dog Pound at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, November 7th. Tickets are $5. Thursday, November 8th is our Magnet Fair. From 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., it will be taking place at the iPrep Village. 
This is a great opportunity for future Bulldogs to meet teachers and students, as well as learn what Braddock has to offer. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at GHB underscore TV. And tune into our YouTube page on Fridays at 10.15 a.m. for new episodes of Braddock TV. So remember to make it happen at Braddock TV. This is Scott. Perfect.